he decided that he'd built his own transmitters, which he thought, well, he'll never do this. He's a television engineer. He doesn't know the first thing about transmitters. But to everyone's amazement, about four or five months later, he came up with a 50-watt transistorized transmitter. And he reopened his own station, which was called Aquarius, and he formed an organisation called the London Transmitter of Independent Radio, the aim of which was to provide transmitting equipment for stations who weren't either technically capable or financially capable of broadcasting on VHF, so that they could produce high-quality programmes. Aquarius was the first station in the LTIR. Jackie was a little reluctant to join, but eventually we were pulled into the organisation as well. And then came stations like Radio London Underground, Radio Classic, Radio Odyssey, Radio Star Classic is the most recent addition to the network. And they're still looking for new people. The idea of the LTIR was for each station to specialise its programmes. Star, on the other hand, tended to broadcast similar programmes to those of Medium Wave. And, you know, this might seem quite unbelievable in their six or seven months of broadcasting through the LTIR, they only received about five or six letters. Radio London Underground consisted mainly of progressive music and documentaries and all sorts of weird sounds, and proved to be very popular indeed. A lot of the broadcast stations aren't run by qualified technicians. You get the small back bedroom pirate, who's not a QSO merchant, he broadcasts music, but again he is likely to cause interference, because he has no qualified technicians involved in his station, in Radio Jackie's case, we've got uh, several radio amateurs involved and therefore they know what they're doing and we can make sure that we don't interfere with any other station. And to the best of my knowledge, we haven't. Well, the average fine a few years ago when Radio Jackie was first caught would be about 10 or 15 pounds. But today, someone would be lucky, I think, to get a fine of about 30 pounds and you know, fines of 80 or 90 pounds are quite normal these days.